Hey everyone, it's Metal Jesus here. That's yeah, it's me. And, and a while back, I recently watched a video from a few years ago where Metal Jesus Rocks tried to crowdfund on Indiegogo for a free holiday. This was a fifty thousand dollar road trip, supposedly <clears throat> road trip in yeah, inverted quotes to drive all around the U.S. visiting you, drinking beer while playing video games with drunken Grote Master Paul. Yeah, if you saw MJR's beach party video. There's a moment, it's not this one, but Kinsey breaks his purple GameCube by yanking on the controller wire, but this has only happened because Paul has tried to grab Kinsey for a quick grope and a fumble. Quite disgusting behaviour, and also reprehensible behaviour from Metal Jesus Rocks, who later tried to blame the GameCube breakage on an HDMI accessory, thus damaging that company's reputation who made it. But it was nothing to do with them, and all for a cheapo GameCube. And more recently, I saw a brilliant reaction video from Afro Gamer Dude, which I'll link in the video description below, that just rips MJR's video apart. And that cannot be topped, so do go and watch that. In fact, I'll, I'll link both the uh, the RV scam that I'm showing here, and also his Beach Party uh, reaction video in the video description below. Both brilliant, just, just go and see both of them. However, after that, and given that Metal Jesus Rocks didn't reach his $50,000 target, he then made a boo-boo, very sad video about it, about how it all came to naught. And so I'm just going to go through this and uh, react to it as we go. Um, it's not... I know his, well, his hits weren't too big back then. He got 36,000 hits on this video. But you'll see he's turned off the like-dislike ratio. I wonder why. So whether you dislike it or like it, it's not... You know, no one's going to see whatever you... Whatever you click on, but uh, yeah, don't bother. Let's just uh, I've, I've, I've clicked on it and now. I can't unclick on it. There we go. It's finally got to me. And he's turned off comments as well. Again, I wonder why. So it's damage limitation time for MGR. Let's just see what he has to say about it. Metal Jesus here, and I'm back again with the video that is going to be a companion piece to the Indiegogo campaign. <laughs> companion piece. Oh God. That's oh. Ugh. Just damage limitation. That's what it is. That's what it is. Mean that I just launched a couple days ago. You got <laughs> and it's already fallen apart after two days. Oh dear. Oh dearie, dearie, dear. Guys have been super excited about it, and I would say excited is not the word I choose to describe it. It warms my heart, but there are a lot of questions, and I kind of want to just talk to you guys about that. Yes, I think there are a lot of questions. I have a lot of questions. Why has he got a anime? Big chested lady on his uh, about his chest. <clears throat> because three really big questions came up, and I <laughs> yeah, why, 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 MJR? I think I can shed some light on that. One of them is I, I doubt very much that you do, but let's let's give it a go. Is, you know why fifty k? That seems like such a big number. So because <laughs> you're a fucking scammer that's why so i'm going to talk about that also the other question is you know why is my city not on that map like i want you to come to ohio you know why would you want to why do you want to come come to your town it's just i know afro gamer dude has said this in his video but all he'll come and do is just go to your game stores buy up anything cheap he can get and that just means you can't you can't buy it and you're funding his holiday to do that well, things like that. And then the third question that came up, you know, I need to address is that, is this going to be a paid vacation for you? Like, is that, is that what we're really doing here? We stay never, never, never. But before we get to that, I mean, what do you guys think about the facial hair? It's the first time I've ever had facial hair. What do you, what do you guys think? All right, before we get started, I do want to do a huge thank you to those of you who gave me all your money. Who have already contributed to the campaign. I've received some amazing emails, tweets. Oh my gosh, you guys get it? You guys Show us those tweets. You won't show us those tweets at all, will you? I mean, you look, look there. It's, um, I know, uh, yeah, for a gamer dude also pointed this out, but so he's pointed this out on another video in the past. Uh, it was, if you, on his Patreon, where I know he gets thousands of dollars each month, if you if you're a member of the tier that's ten dollars, then as long as you're a member for six continuous months, you get a free Metal Militia coin, and uh, so that's sixty dollars. Uh, here you get one straight away as long as you pay a hundred dollars. Unbelievable! But he's saying he, he, you know no funds were exchanged, so he gave everyone their money back. Yet everyone don't. You know what about people who donated money? So 
they get a coin even though they donated money that they then got returned? Hmm, this is all very dodgy. Uh, but he says, whatever's happened, you will get free Metal Jesus ringtones. Great, that's like a free dose of the clap. You guys are excited, you're fired up about it, and you're ready to support it. And I really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. So the first question I get is, why $50,000? I mean, Because <laughs> it's the first number that came into his bloody head. That's an awful lot. Like, some people, they actually... Yeah, it is an awful lot. And a lot of people haven't got a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out. And yet, you're just happily saying, give me your money. I get thousands of dollars in Patreon money each month, but just give me more money. And, uh, you know, like the Basement League, where people give him loads of money, He, you know, because it just threw the through the surreptitious link to his Patreon, which he puts in the video description. He doesn't ask for donations, but just puts a link there in case you want to help out. And then the basement link didn't cost as much as it was planned to do. He said it would cost $40,000. Didn't cost anywhere near that amount, surprisingly. And uh, then he just used the, uh, they just sold the house and moved to a bigger house. Yeah, so your donation helped him move to a bigger house. And also take a trip to Japan where he got to buy more video games. She thought it was like an April Fool's joke. Are you guys serious? I mean, he's a friggin' April Fool's joke. What, what's up with that? Well, you know, the, the truth is, is that you wouldn't know the truth if it fell out and bit you on the bottom. We're going big with this and we're not thinking small and we've really thought it through. As a yeah, that's the um... <clears throat> Matter of fact, there's a budget that you can see on the campaign site, the Indiegogo page, which lays out in detail exactly what we're thinking here. And the thinking money, 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 money. The truth is, there are a lot of things to consider. I mean, like money and money and you know where this is going. <laughs> Obviously, it's three people, me, Rebe uh, Rebecca, my wife, who's going to be the camera person and handle a lot of the logistics, and then Drunken Master Paul. Yeah, he's got he's to have one person going, you're sober. So three people taking a month off from work uh, to go on this month long. <laughs> a month off from work? You haven't got a freaking job. You just, you just make these silly videos for a living. Drunken Master Paul might um, be giving up his job for a month, but uh, yes, yeah, so you're paying... You're paying for Drunken Master Paul's wages for a month, whatever you know, that is. So you could be paying $30,000. $30,000? Would that be for a month? I don't know what... To, no, sorry. That's not for a month. That's that's like a... That's pretty close to an annual salary. What am I been drinking? Um, so, yeah. So a couple of thousand dollars you're paying towards him just to take time off work. You are paying for a holiday. Long journey. There's that component of it, but there's also the RV and all the expenses associated with it. So you, yeah, a, a, an RV that's um just a just you know a caravan basically. You're paying him to go for a caravan holiday and just drive around. Um, that's going to cost. I, I don't. know, You could get anything. I just think back to the Simpsons episode where Homer bought a, a real rust bucket of a, an RV rather than the really expensive one, because it was all they could afford. So, you can do it on a budget, but MJR needs your money. You have to pay, you have to get insurance for the RV, we have to get the RV, and we also have to think about things like, you know, like gas. Yeah, you see, insurance, car insurance, and, and petrol, we call it petrol over here, not gas. Gas is, gas is something you let off. Um, but yeah, those are things that you pay out of your salary. But if they don't have a salary to, to go off, then um, they need your money. For an RV is not cheap. I mean, it's going to cost just gas alone. It's going to cost about four to five thousand dollars. Then there's food and all the expenses. The, the yeah, you said you look like you could cut down on uh, the pork pies. Get some exercise. Perks that are part of this campaign are also part of that. Um, there's the taxes that I need to put aside uh, for this campaign and so much more. There's taxes. So did he, did he mean taxis? Let's have a look. Gas alone is going to cost about four to five thousand dollars. Then there's food and all the expenses, the, the perks that are part of this campaign. <laughs> perks. And are also part of that. Um, there's the taxes that I need to put aside uh, for this campaign. What, what, 
what taxes taxes for a campaign i don't i don't get that if if anyone knows what he's talking about maybe it's something in america I, i'm not um i'm not well up on what he's talking about please uh, comment in the video description to tell me what on earth he's talking about with taxes and so much more i mean, I mean he doesn't um does he does he declare his income from patreon and so on hmm there's, there's the fees that are associated with a campaign like this that go to Indiegogo, as well as the credit card, uh, you know, payments. There's just a bunch of things. So oh, oh, it's bless. Oh, initially I didn't want to put all the that sort of. Oh yeah, sort of a. Uh, you know, it's like an embarrassed you know, payments. There's just a bunch of things. So initially I didn't want to put all those details in that video. Because, you know, that's the details. It's like, that's... that's yeah, I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want you to know really what was going on. I just wanted you to think, hey, my little Jesus is coming to visit you. Won't it be great? Don't think about it, the, the ins and outs and, uh, you know, the realism that you're just funding my holiday. That's not really the fun part, but... Yeah, yeah, getting scammed is not the fun part. It is there on our site if you're curious, and I highly... Yeah, I don't want to make it public, so I'll just put it on my website that nobody reads. And uh, yeah, you can go and check that out later. I recommend you check it out. Now, it's a budget, so we're trying to, to do a best guess of what we think it might be. Yeah, just the first number that came into your head. But I'm very sensitive to the fact that it's your guys' money, and I'm... No, you're not, you lying piece of doodle. What, Joe? Oh, God. I just wanted to jump into the video and give him a friggin' shave. I'm not going to to waste that. So <laughs> just keep in mind <laughs> You don't want to waste people's money. Jesus Christ. People give you thousands of dollars each month and uh, you don't think they're they're you're wasting their money. You you're spending it on big box games that just sit in the back of the bloody shop all day long. That's the budget. We don't know where we're going, so we're trying to plan for you know big cities and the expenses for big cities as well as potentially small towns. Oh, they'll find a way to spend it. It'll be like it'll be like Brewster's Millions, that film with Richard Pryor. But there's probably other versions. There, there will be other versions. I know his like a re his, his was a remake. Brilliant film. Yes, yeah, so I think he gets has to spend a million dollars each day over over a course of the month. So has to spend thirty thousand thirty million dollars. Uh, says uh, Metal Jesus, Brewster's Millions. Metal Jesus millions, Metal Jesus fifty thousands. Uh, he has to spend all that. Whatever you give him, you get, if you did give him fifty thousand dollars, your bag gum, he would have spent every last penny on anything. He would have bought up all of those the, for a five dollar challenge, a good game five dollar challenge, and a bad game five dollar challenge. He would make sure he uses all of your money where maybe the the expenses will be less so that's our thought and yes fifty thousand dollars is a lot of money but honestly i think it's totally doable that's why i launched this because it's not just a a two bit of a, totally bit of a doable deep that's why i launched this because it's not just a a tour for us it's actually a series of videos for everyone who is a subscriber to this channel oh yeah so he's doing it for you you give him your money so he can make videos for you. But the rest of us, we just fund our own video making ventures. That you just wouldn't be able to get normally. You know, I can shoot videos in my game room all day, but... And, well, you probably make... Well, you say you don't do it all day because you then... You only make two videos a week at best. But wouldn't it be great to be able to do I Hate You videos on the road or... I, I've not seen any of his high hate you videos. I have no idea what he's talking about. So um, I'm, I'm quite sure a few people uh, dislike him. Do gamer eats in 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 gamers' kitchens that you know your guys's kitchens? I'm gamer eats. What the hell's gamer eats? I, again, it's another series of his I've not watched. It rings a bell. I've heard the name, but because uh, it, it was mentioned in the Beach House video. But gamer, you know, all gamers have to eat something as long as it's not pizza and chips every bloody night. Or all day long. Um, it's going it's to sound like it's going to end up in one of those Channel Five documentaries. I'm forty stone. I'm four hundred stone because I eat all day long, and now I can't get out of the house. And they have to chop the side of the house down to get them off to hospital before they croak. But everyone has to eat something. What's what's? Someone tell me in the comments below. What does he do in these gamer eats videos that is so spectacular 
that makes you have to watch them. Please, please tell me. If there's any ones I really should watch, let me know. I mean, that'd be awesome to do. To to really create a bunch of amazing videos that everyone gets to benefit from. And my hope was a lot of you would go, yeah, that's worth five bucks. Awesome to do. In, in, in gamers' kitchens that, you know, your guys' kitchens. I mean, that'd be awesome to do. To, to really create a bunch of amazing videos that everyone gets to benefit from. You just make loads of videos that you just fill time on his channel with. You know, you probably get one of them every week instead of him having to pump out a video that actually it requires some effort. And my hope was a lot of you would go, yeah, that's where... Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll give you the money. We don't need to, to buy food this month. We'll just give you our money. Why not? Worth five bucks, you know? That's worth the, the minimum donation of five dollars. And by the way, uh, I get to tell them where to go. <laughs> I think a lot of people like to tell you where to go. That's why they didn't give you money for your silly campaign. Five bucks a month, five dollars a month. Um, that's like one of those adverts for charities where, you know, even like we get a lot of, a lot of them here in the UK. Three pounds a month buys buys a site for a child. You know, allows a child to live or a child to see and live, you know, in a third world country. But no, don't give the child your don't give the child their site. Give Metal Jesus rocks a pint of beer. Why not? So that seemed like it was completely doable, and I hope you guys share that vision because I do think it is. So the da, 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 da. donate here. I don't know why the, the video suddenly started breaking up for a little bit. I don't know why. Metal Jesus tore out videos. Indie girl, girl. I think this is the page that's been taken down. Where did it go? The page you're looking for is no longer available. Or has been moved. <sighs> I wonder why. So I just had to refresh the page because it just uh, yeah it stopped working for a minute. So let's just uh, I've had to refire my place. So here we go. So that seemed like it was completely doable, and I hope you guys share that vision because I do think it is. So the next question is, hey, how come Ohio isn't on the map, and why aren't you guys coming to Canada? And because we don't want to go there. We only want to go where we think games might be cheap, and then we can buy them all for cheap, and then we can sell them to you for expensive, make videos about hidden gems, games which we say are worth buying because they're super cheap. And then as soon as we mention them, we've already bought them all up, and then you want to buy them, they will suddenly be a hundred bucks. But we'll happily sell you our games. You know, we paid five bucks for them. But we'll sell you ours for a hundred bucks. Amazing. And I think a lot of people were confused by the video where I do show that, that map in the little RV, the little animated RV going through a potential tour. But I thought it was pretty clear in that video. Maybe I wasn't because my mom messaged me. She's like, <laughs> my mom was pretty funny. She's like, Jason, why aren't you coming to Boise? And I'm like, <laughs> I didn't realize his mom also had a go see, but anyway. Like, mom! You know this. Like, I've been talking about this for months. The the people who donate get to tell us where to go. I would love to have donated to tell him where to go. That would have been great. That's just a sample. I don't know where we're going, honestly. We want to go to Canada. I live only a couple hours from Canada. It's totally... Canada's in that direction. Oh, that's, um, let's get a, a compass and see if we put it to the back of Jason's old house. Well, that's, uh, is that the direction of Canada? I don't know. Does he does he still live in Seattle? Does he I think uh, as I understand he lives in Seattle? Does anyone living in the Seattle watching this know that when he's pointing backwards, is that the direction of Canada? Please let me know in the comments below. Really doable. So you know, I Ohio uh, anywhere in the U.S. Mexico is even an option too. I mean, we can we can go to Mexico. So uh, yeah, go to Mexico. Don't return. Cross the border, and uh, then Trump builds a wall. And then you can't get back in. That'd be a shame. I, I guess I just want to say that you know, again, it's like if if you don't see your your town, your your state, your country on there, you know, well, that's doable. We doesn't he look so bored? He looks like he looks he looks so bored that he's having to come up with this. There's no passion. This is this is almost six years ago. The passion's completely gone out of his eyes. You can hear the way he's talking. I'll just rewind back. 
the last five seconds. I mean, God, I mean, nowadays it's even worse. But the passion was really, really gone by that point. Your, your state, your country on there, you know, well, that's doable. We, we want you to tell us where to go. Now, obviously in Europe and things like that, this tour for the first one, we had to start somewhere. And so again, my hope is that, you know, if you're in Belgium or France or Germany and you're like, well, you know, they're not gonna come here. Well, yeah, but hopefully you will get the videos and, and enjoy those. And so, you know, I'm gonna be making those. Yeah, you can give him money to go on holiday so you can then watch his holiday videos. It's a bit like watching um, Joanna, Lum Joanna Lumley's travel documentaries on ITV. But, you know, I'm not paying for them directly. They're paying out of funds from the adverts advertising revenue. But I'm not, you know, I'm not, I've not got, sadly, I've not got Joanna Lumley knocking on my door asking for $5 a month or £5 a month to uh, get to fund her to go on holiday. I mean, I'd love to go on holiday with her. <clears throat> but, um, <laughs> oh, that would be fantastic. Anyway. Dom, stop it. Um, yeah, it's just it's the same as that. It's like an episode of Wish You Were Here on the, or the holiday program on Wish You Were Here was ITV with Judith Chalmers and uh, BBC had the holiday program with Clive Mitchell Moore, I think. And you just your license fee paid for all these people to go on holiday and just show them being on holiday and what the holiday destination was like. And and now it's this, but <clears throat> you basically you got. Metal Jesus rocks, just doing it in your funniest holiday. Ah! For everybody in mind, uh, th that's the thing is that, you know, hopefully this is going to be bigger <sighs> than just the tour itself. It's going to be some awesome series of videos. Yeah, well, some series of videos, and then you'd plan to go to uh, maybe go to Europe and then go to other places, and then, um, and it didn't happen. What a shame. All right, and then the next question is Hey, are we just paying for your vacation? <laughs> Yes! 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 Which, which I get. I... Yes! 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 The truth is... Yes! 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 You know, a vacation for me, honestly, is... Yes! Sitting on a beach. Ha 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 ha! You went on a beach. You went on the friggin' beach house. And, um, you'll, you, know, you went out for about five minutes. And for your daily state-approved walk, courtesy of Boris Johnson... And then you were, then you all went back inside to sit cross-legged and play video games. Relaxing and enjoying it. And this is going to be the opposite of that, to be honest, because... <laughs> the opposite of relaxing. Metal Jesus Rocks would not, do a, would not know a day's friggin' hard work in his life. It's going to be a ton of work. I will owe you guys deliverables. And I do not take that lightly. Ha! I, this is your money, and you are trusting me with it. <laughs> and so I have some serious obligations, both <laughs> before the tour, sending out thousands of perks to the tour itself. Perks, perks, what perks? A plastic coin. Where we plan on like working hard. I'm going to be pumping out video blogs as well as creating the episodes as quickly as we can you liar you absolute rotten liar and then at the end of it more than likely i'll have hundreds of hours of footage to edit and then wrap up and so it's going to be a lot of work i don't want you guys to think that that it's going to be a vacation because while we we kind of you know sell it as that because we want it to be fun because it is fun and it is a vacation. But it really is going to be a lot of work for <laughs> us. I mean, even while we're, we're traveling, we are going to have things that we're going to need to do, like obviously send out the handwritten postcards. Oh, God. You'll, how much, you know, I, I dread to think, I wish I'd seen this at the time, I dread to think how much you, was, you would be paying for Metal Jesus Rocks to send you a postcard. Fuck me. Oh, ah, God. And, and what about if it doesn't arrive? Then what do you do? At least... If you're sending out loads of these, at least one or two are not going to arrive. And we will have potentially hundreds, if not thousands of those. Um, we're going to be calling ahead to the places that, that you tell us to go to make sure that we can film in some of the places we will visit. Oh, don't worry, I'm sure if you can't film in one store, you'll be able to film in another store. Jesus. Also, my, my idea for this is bigger than just, you know, some of the episodes we may have mentioned. Every, every... He really sounds bored. He's making this up. He's shilling on the go. 
He's making this up as he goes along. He's bored out of his absolute bloody skull. He wants to get back into an office environment. He, oh, Gordon Bennett, that's, and this is six years ago. Every place that we go will have retro gamers there. And so I really want to see if there's local retro gaming communities that maybe want to meet up. And so that's going to Depends when you go. If it was like summer, there'd be gaming expos on and so on. But whether you actually arrive in the town when the expo is going on, is another matter entirely. And take planning from us, you know, while the tour is happening. So, I, I, inv I, inv but don't worry. I mean, I'm sure you'll get the wife. You would sure you, if it had gone ahead, you'd have just got your wife to do all the hard work because it doesn't sound like you'd be doing any at all. You'd, you'd be too busy playing games and drinking beer with drunken Grote Master Paul. Vision that there's going to be a lot of work for us, and I've been very clear with Rebecca and, and Drunken Master Paul. It's like this will not be a vacation. Actually, yeah. it's going to be a lot of work, and ah. that's okay because we think it's going to be worth it. We because we know it's going to be a big, big holiday. We think it's going to be something that certainly is never done on my channel before, and hopefully we'll take it to the next level and really sort of be exciting. We want you guys to be excited about it because. You, you can't even get excited about it. You're getting to people to try and fund you for a friggin' holiday. And you couldn't even get excited about it. In fact, the more I think about it, the more I realise that this video was made after the bit before the thing started. I just I thought this I thought this was a damage limitation video. But it's actually made before. <laughs> You're still expecting you to pay pay him fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> and it never happens. Thank God. We're excited to do it. I think it's gonna be awesome. So anyways, that's a quick video of some of the common questions that have come up. I Sorry, this video is not as quick as his. I hope that clears up some things for you guys. If not, please post below. Be happy to answer all your questions. You never do. You never do. You never answer anything. You just shadow ban anyone who tries to um, <clears throat> post <sighs> things you don't agree with. Um, and then finally, one more thing. You guys have been asking for an updated game room tour. Well, you're going to get it this Friday. Whoop dee doo. Stay tuned. Fuck me. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Take care. And Q Sega Genesis.